I'll do something unusual today. I'll start with the bonus tip. What about that? Let's say you want to reorganize your Evernote. You want to move some notes from one notebook to another, but you are not so sure about that. Tags can help you put everything back together as it was before. Let me show you. Let's say I want to move all my notes from the articles notebook to the knowledge base notebook, but I'm not so sure. The first thing I would do here is select all the notes and add a tag to all of them. And in situations like this, I usually create a tag with the same name of the notebook. As you can see, articles is a tag that doesn't exist. I have to create it. And after that, we can move all these notes to the knowledge base notebook. Let's say a week or a month from now, you change your mind. Okay, let's go to the knowledge base notebook, common J, knowledge base. And as you can see here, there are many, many notes, but the tag can help us. All we need to do is use the filter, select articles. We have here all the notes, select them, and finally move them back to the articles notebook. And if you don't have that notebook anymore, no problem, you can always create it again. We already know that we can go to the tags menu, search for a tag name, and select that tag to filter the notes by that tag. However, there are at least two other ways to do this. The search box is another option. Again, just start typing the name of the tag. All you have to do now is look at the icons. As you can see here, we have two tags with articles in their names. We have articles and we have scientific articles. As you may imagine, my preferred method is the switch to window. Command J on a Mac or Ctrl Q on Windows. Start typing the name of the tag. Again, the icon is your best friend. We have a notebook icon for the articles notebook and we also have a tag icon for the articles tag. Say you are working on a note and you want to see all the notes you have in Evernote with that same tag. No, Common J is not a good idea here. Too many steps. There's a much easier way. The first item is filter by tag. But there are other options here. We have remove the tag, we have remove tag from all notes, and we have add to shortcuts. Before moving to the next tip, I'd like to take a moment to thank the new channel members. If what I'm doing here is helpful and you want to support the channel, please consider becoming a member. Next tip. Let's start by using the last tip. I'll remove this tag from the note. Of course, you know that we can start typing a tag here to select one or create one. However, there are two other possibilities. Drag the note to a tag. This will add that tag to the note. Uh, let's remove it again. Of course, we can also delete it with the backspace. But did you know that you can also drag a tag and add it to a note? Pretty cool, right? Uh, which one is better here will depend on the situation. In reality, this is something that is true to everything we do in Evernote. That's why it's important to know all the ways of doing things and choose the one that is best for that moment, the one with less friction. Many people ask me how to create this structure of nested tags here on the shortcuts. It's not possible to do it here, but it's possible. Yeah, of course it's possible. <laughs> I have it here. Anyway, we have to create it on the tags menu. So let's go to the tags. We can use this one. As you can see here, I have the parent tag and also children tags. All you have to do is drag the parent to the shortcuts 
And once it is here, if you want to change something, you can go back to the tags and update it. For example, let me add Porto, OPO to under Portugal. Pay attention to the shortcuts. Did you see it? There it is. You can also see and work with tags when using the notes filter. And here you also have some options. Let's go back to one of those parent tags. I'll select it. And as you can see, there are no notes because there is no note with the parent tag. However, there is another possibility here. I can see and select some or all the children tags. Let's go back here. I'm going to choose another one. As you can see here, we can click this little arrow. It will show all the children tags. I can select one or several, or I can select the three dots and the option include sub tags. Now Evernote will show you all the notes with tags under that parent tag. If you want to learn more about tags, there are many other videos here on the channel. And if you want to learn more about Evernote and productivity, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. See you soon.